I want to do a quick video explaining why it's so important if you have a Vitamix model that comes with a next generation container that you get a narrow bottom container to go with it. So my, the model that I sell the most is the next generation model. Um, there's also a next generation's programs model. Uh, these, the next generation and the next generation programs are the same machine. The only difference is this has five program settings. This comes in the name Pro 750. This comes in the name 7500, Pro 300, or Creations Elite. Um, so these models come with wide bottom containers, and those wide bottom containers actually have a, a benefit, and, but they do have a limitation. And the limitation is the problem with the wide bottom container is solved if you get a narrow bottom container to go with it. When people uh, consult me and ask the, my advice on what model they should get, 90% of my sales end up being the next generation um, Vitamix with the addition of a narrow bottom wet container to go with it. And I'm gonna explain why in just a minute. So let's go back to the benefits of the wide bottom container. Um, the blades are longer, they have four inch blades, and it's a low profile container that fits under most cabinets. Um, and the biggest benefit is that when you dry chop vegetables or use the machine as a, uh, to dry chop, it is a better food processor than any of the narrow bottom containers because there's so much room for the food to circulate. Um, the food doesn't get clogged up in the corners and it uh, chops very well. Uh, it, the pieces don't, if you stay on variable one, the pieces don't get uh, shredded. Um, so. Let's, I do chicken salad a lot. And before I got a next generation container, I did my chicken salad in a standard container. Let me tell you how you would do that. If you had only a narrow bottom container, you limit yourself to only one cup at a time. This has three inch blades, it's narrow at the bottom, and food gets congested in there. So if I was making chicken salad, I would chop a cup, only one cup at a time. And then you dump it out and you do another cup and you dump it out and you do another cup and you mix things up in the bowl. So I chop a cup of onions, dump it out, um, a carrot, dump it out, chop some celery, dump it out, take some cooked chicken, shred it, dump it out, and then I make my chicken salad in the bowl. The great thing about when I got this, I loved making my chicken salad because then I could chop my carrot, celery, and onion all at the same time and I could still put in some cooked chicken and shred that with the carrot, celery, and onion, and then I would put it in a bowl, and I would usually make my mayonnaise in my um, 32 ounce wet container, and then I would finish making my chicken salad in the bowl. Uh, but it's really wonderful. You can uh, do three, up to three cups of fruits or vegetables in, in, in one time, so it's much handier to use as a food processor. That's the benefit. Now the drawback. Um, if you only have a wide bottom next generation container, you're actually limited and you can't make everything. A Vitamix should be able to make one cup recipes like mayonnaise, pesto, salad dressings, and marinades. You don't want to make a two cup recipe of mayonnaise or pesto that's a lot of oil and it's just more than you need, especially like it's nice to make one cup recipes of salad dressing or marinades. Um, the container is so wide at the bottom that it won't blend anything, uh, won't blend anything less than uh, two cups very well. Uh, and it doesn't blend well at all from two to four cups. It splashes everything up the sides and all over the lid. But from four to eight cups, it blends just fine. That's where the narrow bottom container comes in. This container blends just fine if you have one cup recipes like mayonnaise, pesto, salad dressings, marinades. Um, let's say you want to make a single serve smoothie. You do that in here, it's going to splash all over the lid and up the sides. You want to do a single serving smoothie in here, two, three, four cups, it'll blend perfectly. So this container does fine from four to eight cups. So let's, once you, this is a four cup container, a 32 ounce wet container. If you want to make something bigger than four cups, you'll go to this container and it'll blend just fine. From four to eight cups, this does a good job and this is great at food processing. This one is the, the go-to container for any wet recipe that is less than four cups. Um, a small batch of ice cream, a smaller batch of nut butter, hummus, um, personal size smoothies, smoothies for one, um, batters, uh, most muffin batters or cake batters or pancake batters. So this is ideal for your small batches, this is ideal for food processing and chopping and your big batches. 
Um, those longer blades are uh, great at working as a food processor and they also actually, from four to eight cups, helps uh, you process the food just a little bit faster. Um, one thing I'd like to mention, if, if you've already purchased a Vitamix with, that came with the next generation and that's all you have, please be sure to contact me. I have uh, a couple of freebies. I have an ebook that I created that I give free to my customers and I, and I want you to find out what my pricing is and what I, what I give uh, with, along with the ebook to my customers if you buy an extra container from me. So if you don't, if you have a, a wide bottom container and you don't have a narrow bottom container yet, sometimes people are disappointed. They think the Vitamix isn't as good um, as it should be. And that's because under four cups, it's, it doesn't, because the food's splashing up on the lid and up the sides, it's not hitting the blades as much as, as it should. And this, uh, so the seeds don't get blended as well and as smooth as they should. Kale in a smoothie doesn't get blended as smooth as it should. And that's what you expect from a Vitamix. But if you have the narrow bottom container with the better blending pattern for the smaller batches, you'll get that smooth uh, texture that you expect from a Vitamix. So this is the perfect package, the best of both worlds. And uh, please be sure to contact me if you don't have a narrow bottom container to go with your wide bottom container. While I'm talking, I will say real fast, uh, the 48 ounce and the 32 ounce both have narrow bottoms. They both have three inch blades. Uh, the, the 48 ounce has a six cup capacity and it's bigger at the top. It has a wider circumference at the top. The 32 ounce has a smaller circumference at the top. They're both about the same height. Now this uh, 60, uh, 48 ounce fits over the four centering prongs, these. And the 32 ounce fits inside the four centering prongs. Now some people think that it seems a little um, unstable, but as long as it's sitting flat, it's designed to fit like this. Um, that There's a little tiny bit of wiggle room so that the gears can line up with the gears in there. Um, one more important thing, if you, uh, the 32 ounce container does not have a mini tamper in the box. A mini tamper is $10, and the 48 ounce container comes with a mini tamper in the box. And I was gonna see if I could find my tampers to show you, but I'm gonna, I'll have to do that in another video. Um, please contact me, vitamixlady at gmail.com, or call me at 321-961-9219. I wanna tell you what my freebies are. I can do that in an email or in a phone call. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks, bye.